Resuming debate, the Honourable Member for Calgary Confederation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I'm very pleased to be able to rise today to contribute to this debate uh, on the Alberta jobs crisis. Mr. Chair, the, the constituency that I represent, Calgary Confederation, is a riding located in the inner city of Calgary. It's right smack dab in the middle, just north of the Bull River. And it's a wonderful riding. It's got wonderful people that live there. They work hard. They've got great families. Uh, there's a population of approximately 112,000 people. And many of those people, Mr. Chair, have been deeply affected by the downturn in the oil industry. There has been massive layoffs throughout my riding, due not only to the price of oil, but also due to the unnecessary taxation implemented by both the provincial NDP government and the federal Liberals on all industry that has that an industry that is already on its, its knees. The implementation of the carbon tax is an attack on industry just trying to survive. To understand the utter devastation that has taken place in the Alberta jobs market, one only needs to look at the Liberal government's record since taking office. While the national unemployment rate has remained steady at 7 percent, the unemployment rate in Calgary has risen dramatically to around 10 percent. And behind those unemployment numbers are real people, real families, right. and they are suffering. Even those with jobs today live under incredible stress, not knowing if they will become one of the, one of the tens of thousands of laid-off workers in the oil industry. My staff in my constituency office, Lou and Pat, they are on the front lines. They have been receiving calls that just tear you apart. It sometimes leaves them emotionally drained and visually, visibly shaken. There are parents who are calling in, sobbing, telling of their children who have been sent away to family in other provinces because they can't afford to feed and house them here in Calgary or in Calgary. Mr. Chair, I went door knocking during the Christmas break and I met one man who was ashamed to let me share his name, told of not finding work, depleting his family savings, losing their home and still to this day cannot find work. He was so embarrassed by this situation that he has sent his wife and three children to Manitoba to stay with his in-laws so that he could shield the reality of their family situation from his young children. Imagine being ashamed to be in front of your ashamed to be in front of your own children. Another father who has almost had the same experience moved his wife and children to, to Saskatchewan, a province where at least the Saskatchewan party and Brad Wall will they get it. They strongly oppose a carbon tax and I strongly oppose or I strongly applaud Premier Brad Wall for, for trying to convince this government otherwise. Mm. Mr. Chair, another constituent calling into the office. And when we asked him his address, he gave us he gave us his license number. That's his address. He lives in a car. And I've had two people mention suicide as an option if they don't get some help from this government. So the tragic stories go on and the hope, it continues to fade that, you know, hopefully one day things will improve. Pray for the price of oil to, to, to come up again. Pray that this government listens to the people of Alberta and the people of Canada. I implore all the members to remember the people behind these unemployment numbers. Each person has a unique story but they share the same challenges, and that is putting a roof on their, on their heads and food on the table. That's what every Canadian wants and every, and every Canadian deserves. The Liberal government must stop taxing Albertans into poverty. Let's stop destroying their primary industries. Better yet, let's stop ignoring them and their situation. Let's get Alberta back to work, and let's do it soon. Thank you. Questions 